Hey guys, Mello Mechanic here. Welcome back to the channel. We got a fun one in the shop today. This is my buddy's dirt bike. And uh, you can tell it is rather old. It is a 1981 YZ125. So this is a piece of history right here. And the motor on it. Look at that. This dungeon racing. Don't know what that means, but that's pretty cool. So what we're doing to this motorcycle today is it has a little bit of an overheating problem. Even though it's a little tiny baby motor, she does tend to run a little bit hot. So over here, we got some radiators. Now somebody at some point put this radiator on, um, and that didn't work. So what we're going to do is actually put two on. This is what he wants. Uh, so I'm not a motorcycle guy, uh, so he says puts two radiators on, and that'll fix the overheating, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, I did a little work off camera. I did put these mounts on the frame. Uh, that was quite difficult to get those lined up, uh, but it made for pretty boring YouTube, so I didn't bother to put it in. Um, so we do need to mount those, and then this is the reservoir for the rear shock uh, but the rear shocks pretty much right there um, not right here like like modern bikes are uh, so this is kind of the predecessor to the mono shock but it's a mono x uh, so again 1981 a little little piece of history so we got to put the radiators on but something else we need to do is build fairings around the radiator to cover this area right here so we got to fab something up that'll guide the air in and then give it a little bit of, of structure in here to hold the, the radiator keep it from doing this uh, i got a sheet of aluminum right there that we're gonna cut and weld and fabricate and uh get something going so for right now let's put the radiators on and uh see let's see how they look see how they fit Okay, radiators are mounted. We got one there. We got one on this side. Now, the problem I see right here may not be a problem. The way it was described to me is that two strokes don't run, or exactly, two strokes don't run very hot in their exhaust like a four stroke. So that pipe does get hot, but it doesn't get like cherry red like a four stroke does. So we'll see how it how it does right here. I think when you're moving through the air, I think it'll be fine. You might get a little bit of heat soak when it's sitting here idling. Uh, but anyway, there is that radiator. We might have an issue with this hose pretty close to the pipe there. I might have to cut it and twist it. But I want to talk to my buddy to see how he's going to plumb this thing before I start cutting the... Uh, all the fittings and everything off these radiators so anyway that's that's how those are mounted we have just barely enough clearance for that fender to come through here so that's going to work pretty good uh interesting little bit of history these used to have the radiator right here and uh it's almost like they had a headlight bezel took the headlight out put a radiator but they ran it through the down tube. You can see right here is where one of the radiator fittings went. And then the other one came out around here. But it would uh, rust out the uh, steer. So that's why you don't see them on modern bikes. Because it was kind of a bad idea. So anyway, that's why we're putting these on. So uh, next step, let's mock up the side. Let's see how we want that to look. So let's do that real quick. So I got something mocked up in cardboard here. I tried to keep the line right there, right there. But uh, the gas tank doesn't give us too much of a, a line to go off. So I just went right off the bottom there. It scoops in the front like that. We have enough room for this to turn. It's got enough clearance there. So I think that's going to work. It's going to look kind of 
Kind of wild and crazy. Uh, I think we're going to go with that. Yes. Let's make that happen. So now the challenge is make this out of that aluminum. Uh, I do want to put a bend right there and another one there. I don't have the means to do that without really marring up the aluminum. So I might just cut and weld that there. So there is going to be a weld seam on top there, probably a seam there. And then uh, let me see what I want to do with those corners. So this might be a trip to Harbor Freight to get a bender, but I don't know if it'll bend. That's uh, eighth inch aluminum. I don't know if the cheap Harbor Freight benders will bend that. So, uh, all right, let's get, uh, get to cutting. All right, I got my aluminum all set up here. I traced all of my pieces right there. Let me change the view. Ooh, there we go. So I got all my pieces traced out. Luckily, I could do it on this little, little piece instead of taking up all that. So uh, next is the bandsaw and like two hours of cutting. So we got to follow all those lines there. So let's go ahead and do that. The aluminum is all cut. I got one side here ready to be assembled and off camera I mocked up this side and uh, it's getting there. I need to do a little trimming but you can see kind of the basic idea of what it's going to look like. So yeah it's only uh, really like three pieces which is cool. I got one piece, two piece, three and then I bent it right there. So. Probably got to trim the bottom off, work on that curve right there, and then uh, the front looks a little long to me. I might trim that back. We got to duplicate that to this side here. And uh, let me go ahead and do that. Do that right now. All right, I got both sides mocked up. Other side, I have to notch it out right, right there for the exhaust. But both sides are there intact front there's the side now all i got to do is finish welding them and do a little trimming and we'll be all done like it here's sitting on top pretty wild all right let's weld them all right, the side pieces are all welded up. Looking good. Trimmed it just a little bit. Here's this side. All right, got a couple more things to do, but I'm going to call it on the video because I think we're already in it long enough. But uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm not really a motorcycle guy. I think it looks cool, but, you know, some purist out there might say this is horrible. I dig it, though. I sent a picture to my buddy. He likes it, so that's, I guess that's really all that matters. He digs it, so there it is right there. But anyway, hope uh, you all enjoyed this video, and it was helpful. And uh, like always, thank you very much. See you next time.